everyone and welcome guys this is Asif from the Kashmir Pulse today uh, I'm going to tell you uh, how to uh, do email forwarding uh, from your, your domain registrar's website uh, actually um, when you uh, register a domain uh, uh, for a website uh, from a registrar like GoDaddy, Namecheap and the others uh, we uh, are uh, provided the email forwarding as well and um, uh, this is particularly good about GoDaddy you know I have registered my domain with GoDaddy and uh, it provides a pack of 100 email forwarding options you know you can uh, forward uh, uh, your emails to your um, uh, Gmail uh, you know uh, account uh, without any costs to you okay then uh, I'll show you how to utilize the email forwarding which is free of cost especially GoDaddy provides it okay um, let's head over to the GoDaddy website okay then um, after uh, we open the GoDaddy website uh, we should quickly sign in and uh, in this case I have already saved my uh, password uh, on this website okay here's my account so um, let's click this button uh, you can quickly uh, see that uh, uh, email forwarding 100 pack uh, this is a free email uh, forwarding with my domain uh, okay uh, let's click manage and um, I have a website uh, of a client livingkashmirtravels.com and uh, I'm going to show you how to you know forward your emails uh, from uh, like uh, you have a website and um, like your domain.com and you want to uh, create a new email address uh, to showcase your uh, you know a word to your clients to your customers uh, to your fans and you want to add like uh, info at your domain dot com or uh, contact at your do uh, domain dot com and uh, many other uh, kinds of things that you would love to create so uh, uh, email forwarding uh, first click create uh, no don't click create so first of all uh, uh, we have to select this create forward and uh, then uh, we have this pop up uh, coming up okay then after this loads and uh, okay we have uh, anything we can create so we can uh, for example we create contact at so you should select your, the domain that you want to forward uh, your emails from so contact at livingkashmirtravels.com uh, this is a domain that I have already registered with GoDaddy so uh, you should select the email uh, address that you want these emails forward it to uh, you know people will send uh, emails to contact at livingkashmirtravels.com and these emails will land in your email address your gmail address for example so uh, for that uh, you should type in the email address that you want uh, to like that you like uh, for example uh, I should uh, type Okay, I have typed in the address livingkashmirtravels at gmail.com. So uh, if you want to make it a catch-all account, for example, if a, uh, if uh, somebody uh, you know mistakes uh, uh, this uh, spelling, uh, for example, contact, he may write C O N T A C 
uh, forgets to write t at livingkashmirtravels.com or something else, uh, any, any spell spelling mistake before this uh, uh, ad uh, sign uh, will be, uh, you know, uh, not uh, considered and all the emails which are sent uh, to this address will, uh, you know, if, you, if someone sends uh, info at um, livingkashmirtravels.com but you haven't created that forward but still you will receive that email because it's a catch all email account so uh, we should uh, type in create okay we have a success uh, pop-up message coming up here email forwarding for contact at livingkashmirtravels.com is being set up so uh, uh, some uh, guys are here that uh, some guys I heard from some guys that uh, they are um, you know encountering a they are encountering a error here alert in this alerts panel that uh, it's saying that uh, you know uh, validating MX records and more than 24 hours have been uh, uh, you know they have waited uh, more than 24 hours but still they are seeing that validating MS records. Uh, so, uh, in order for these email forwards to work properly, uh, what has to be done is that uh, you have to go to your control panel uh, where you have hosted your website, for example, host carrier or anything else that your whoever your registrar is. So, uh, after that, um, you have to go this, to this option MX entry and uh, type in uh, uh, the, you know, uh, here you should uh, select in uh, your domain name and then um, uh, for example I have uh, this uh, different uh, you know I have a different uh, hosting account open right now so uh, uh, I am showing this uh, as an example so you should select your domain uh, livingkashmirtravels.com in my case and I'm not uh, on the same uh, hosting account right now, but this is uh, what you have to do. I am showing you. So what you got to do is to select the domain name and add MX record. And for GoDaddy, uh, the first MX record is um, uh, smtp.secureserver.net. I have already have them in my notepad. Okay. A priority has to be zero for this one. Okay, click add. And uh, uh, the second, uh, you know, server name has to be mail store one dot secure server dot net. Okay. And for this, the priority has to be ten. Okay, add these two uh, MX records to your domain and uh, you are all done. Now, emails to your these uh, addresses like contact at livingkashmirtravel.com or contact at yourdomain.com will be sent to your Gmail account. Thanks for watching.